Hey, welcome to Review My Life. My name is Joel Petgrave, and on this channel, I review a different aspect of my life every week. And for today, we're gonna be reviewing, drum roll, my religion. Thank you, and let's get into it. I decided I wanted to start with my religion be because that is something that shapes my worldview and it has made me into the person I am today. So I thought it was very important to kind of show you kind of like the belief system um, behind the man you see in front of you. I am a Seventh-day Adventist Christian, which on one side, Christianity being very mainstream, but Seventh-day Adventism, um, which is a subset of Christianity, um, not very mainstream, depending on where you live. The way I kind of wanted to do this video, um, it's going to be done in two parts. In this part, I'm, we're just going to be going over the, the core differences between Seventh-day Adventism and uh, mainstream Christianity. In our next video, we're just going to be giving some history or the progression of the church to try to give you some background um, as to why and how we came up with the belief system as Seventh-day Adventist and um, why are they so different than most other churches you, you may come across. Let's start with the big elephant in the room, the Sabbath. Um, uh, the first thing you might have heard of when hearing Seventh-day Adventists is like, oh, these, these are Christians that just worship on Saturday. Um, which is technically true, um, but it's a lot deeper than that. Um, as Seventh-day Adventists, we believe in the Seventh-day Sabbath. And by that, I mean, we believe it's a, a day that the Lord set aside um, and that we are to observe it and to honor it. In contrast, um, the mainstream Christianity um, well, there's two beliefs. One major, one used to be major, but it's now a minor one. Um, the minor one is, um, and this is how it used to be back in the day, a lot of people, Christians, used to believe that the Sabbath was changed from Saturday to Sunday in honor of the Lord's resurrection. Um, but not many people believe that today. What most believe is that the Sabbath, along with the, all, the, all the other commandments, were done away with when Jesus died and then he gave us a new commandment, new set of commandments that is pretty much almost identical to the old one, but for some reason it just left the Sabbath out. Um, and like I said, um, this video is not here to like kind of create a debate, but just go over the differences. Um, in, in part two, so subscribe for, um, if you want to see that one, we're going to be going more in depth of why these differences are, um, occur. As Seventh-day Adventists, we believe that there is a physical sanctuary up in heaven that the earthly sanctuary was modeled after and that um, God or Jesus um, has a work to do in that sanctuary before he comes again. Um, this is kind of like when you hear he said, it's expedient that I go um, because he had he had um, he had a part to to do in that heavenly sanctuary. Um, now, there's not necessarily a direct opposition to this in mainstream Christianity. Um, some people might point out that this minimizes what Jesus did on the cross because he said it is finished and it, it's it's kind of like we're saying, oh, his work really wasn't finished. I could see why they could um, they, they might take it that way, but like I said, I'm just, for today, we're just going over those two different views. This one um, is not really spoken about a lot, but as of late, I'm seeing how this difference as time goes on is going to, might create some friction. Um, so the state of the dead, we as Adventists believe this doctrine states that when someone dies, they are dead and they, they, they completely cease to exist. While the prevailing theology through mainstream Christianity is that when you die, um, your body 
or your breath goes back up to God and their interpretation of that is that like your soul goes back up to God and that's why you hear things like oh look Johnny or mommy or daddy or Susie is looking down from heaven looking at us um, as Adventists we don't believe that we believe that you know when you're dead you cease to exist in all forms and then that won't change until the resurrection so there you go I didn't this is kind of like the other one where like it's not I didn't really realize how much big of a difference um, this was until I was actually watching an, an atheist um, do a review of Seventh-day Adventism and he's talking about like how Seventh-day Adventists we don't believe in hell I'm like what what is he talking about and then I remember that as Seventh-day Adventists we don't believe in a perpetual hell that that is to say we don't believe that hell is somewhere where people are sent to and they're burning forever forever um, for the rest of the eternity for their sins um, mainstream Christianity believes well the opposite that that does exist when you get sent to hell you're burning there for your crimes for the rest of eternity when it comes to the second coming uh, the prevailing or what most Christians um, teach is what's called the secret rapture we as Seventh-day Adventists do not believe in a secret rapture and for those of you who don't know what the secret rapture is um, it's pretty much um, the doctrine that believes um, right before um, Jesus coming people will be um, taken away or sent to heaven um, without like anybody else knowing like they would just like like disappear they have like movies about it and stuff um, right before Jesus comes and they'll be um, taken away to heaven um, what we as Adventists believe is that um, this obviously won't take place but we believe that when Jesus comes again it will be one kind of big rapture where the Bible says every eye will see and and the whole world will be a witness to his second coming and that um, everybody would be like taken up at the same time and again we're not going to go through the differences in this video but those are the major key um, differences there are some um, when when we talk about our beliefs over mainstream Christianity there are some other differences um, such as the interpretation of prophecy um, but the reason why I don't really mention that here is because especially when it comes to like Daniel and Revelation um, there's no one prevailing view that is consistent throughout Christianity um, Christendom it's kind of like all over the place so like you know everybody has like a different interpretation of that so it's not that we as Adventists is, is different from the mainstream theology of that because there is really no mainstream theology so those are the differences um, that that are the core differences that make us Seventh-day Adventists different and stay tuned for our next video where will kind of give you some um, history and to see why these differences came came about. But let me know, what do you think about those differences? Does any of those make sense? And like I said, this video is not so much to create necessarily a case, but to go over the major differences of Seventh-day Adventism over mainstream Christianity. However, if you are interested, um, I'll leave some links in the description below to, to um, that gives some proof of, of why we believe those things um, as well stay in tune for our next video where like I said we're going to go into some more detail of why and how those differences came about and thank you for watching review my life peace <laughs>